massive mix-up, costing sailors hundreds of dollars each. Dozens returned back from training to find their cars gone. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live from the Naval Command headquarters with why their cars were all towed. Anthony? Well, the Navy's expected to take care of the bill. You see, the cars were towed while the, while the sailors were out on training for several weeks. So those cars were just sitting in the impound lot, racking up those daily fees. Sailors at Naval Base San Diego are trained to be ready for anything, but a large bill? That was a surprise to many Navy families. Tuesday evening, I got a notice in the mail saying our car was towed from 32nd Street. This Navy wife says their car was towed from this parking lot, the same lot where her husband was instructed to park before he went on pre-deployment training. It was all arranged and coordinated ahead of time. Everyone was told to park in this area. But that area was apparently scheduled for repaving and the tow trucks were called out. Oh, he's peeved. He's yes. very upset. They left May 30th. It was towed on June 8th and I picked it up on the 14th, uh, $400 later. <laughs> According to the naval base, more than 40 sailors' vehicles were towed. As they came back from training, they arranged to take them to the tow lot in Chula Vista to get their cars back. One sailor told 10 News off camera his bill was close to $800. The sailors are expected to get reimbursed for the costs. They will have to get reimbursed through a file claim. Um, so everyone will have to pay for this up front, and it's kind of just putting a huge damper on a lot of people's weekends as we return. It's not a big burden to us, more just an inconvenience. Um, however, there's a lot of junior sailors, enlisted sailors that may not have that money up front. She also says repayments are not the only thing families are looking for. What I would like to see is the commanding officer come out to apologize to the sailors and families involved. And at this point, we have not been given a timeline on when those sailors will be reimbursed. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Unbelievable mix-up. Thank you, Anthony.